All right. I am Judge Scott. I am Judge Rim. And we are here to judge the next season of anime, the winter 2018, I guess 2017, 2018 season? Yeah. I don't know. I guess it's 2018 because it began in January. We're a little bit late on this one. They're already... Well, let's see. We had PAX Unplugged and then MAGFest and then PAX South. Right. We've been very busy, so we weren't able to put this out earlier, but there's only been two or three episodes of most of these shows out so far. Uh, as of this recording, and we have watched zero of them. So we are still going to judge these anime completely based on their cover and the helpful information at... Uh, Analyst.co. The anime, the an yeah, the anime, <laughs> uh, the official anime chart website. Uh, so yeah, remember, if you don't know the deal, we've been doing this since Anime Boston. The point is that we don't know about these shows and have not watched them, because anime, you can pretty much judge by the cover. Right. Uh, as of last month, uh, I don't know how many people have reported to us how good our judging was last month, but the number one comment that I saw was that, uh, we judged Food Wars to be sort of a pervy show, which it does have many pervy elements, but the information available on the anime chart site was not extensive because I think it was a second season and it was just sort nah. of like, and it wasn't called Food Wars, it was the Japanese name, which I didn't know was Food Wars, even though I had heard of Food Wars. <laughs> uh, so despite that show being pervy, as we said, uh, it also has a significant uh, amount of like good food info, and the cooking aspect is actually good. Well, I mean, Chew Bra had a significant amount of bra yeah, info. Yeah, no, let's not talk about that. Okay, <laughs> uh, so that, I guess that was our most incorrect judgment of last season. The first time we did this is still our, like, bat in a thousand. <laughs> anyway, but otherwise, it seems that we were pretty accurate about what shows were good and what shows were bad. Yeah. Uh, so without any further ado, we are going to get right into this winter season, the beginning, the beginning of January 2018, and the first show on the list is Violet Evergarden. All right. Uh, I've heard people have mentioned this in my social media feed. Uh, I'm not too sure about this. This is about a robot girl again? Is that what this well, is? Well, it's been quite a while since that name caused a fuss. Uh-huh. Yeah. Solely for so his beloved seems... wife, auto memories dolls eventually spread out around the world. Is this... This is going to be a show about robot waifus? Right, the storyline gives me a Chobits kind of feel, except the artwork gives me a more, like, serious and less, oh my god, cutesy kind of feel. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. I don't know. It, it, like, it could be good if it focuses on the sci-fi part, but it also, because it's still female robots could be yep. not so good. I mean, of course, remember, when Chobits came out, everyone kept telling me, oh, this show is amazing. You've got to watch it. It's so deep. And I watched one episode, and it had problems, and it never really got better. Yeah, people don't talk about Chobits anymore. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like this is one of those shows where, I don't, we just said, you can always judge anime by its cover. I think I'd have to watch one episode, and I think I would know immediately if this is worth watching or not yeah, based on that. Yeah, it's like... Because the plot gives you hints it might be bad, but also hints it might be good. I think it could be one of those shows where it is good and bad at the same time, right? As a like good aspect and also a not so good aspect. Well, the trouble together. is the, the image we get in this case sort doesn't... Of, sort of like what was the Dragon Maid show, which had oh, the yeah. good dragon aspect and the not so good maid aspect. But this show, I guess, the, the image we have does not give us enough to go on either, but there are no warning signs in the image, which means I'd be willing to give it one episode. Yeah, I'd be willing to try it out. All right. Next show, Overlord 2. The, the sequel to Overlord. I don't know anything about the first season of Overlord, but the image makes me think it's just a monster fighting show. I don't know. Look at that cute white looking thing in the back, though, behind all the super realistic I monsters. I think that's just a snake. No, I don't, yeah, but it's a weird. It's not as realistic as the rest of them. I think it's just a, a, a fantasy fight monster. It's also only 13 episodes. I mean, I guess. I get the feeling this is mostly boring action, right? Yeah. Of, in a fantasy kind of setting, fighting monsters. Probably. You know, like, it could be good if you just want some of that, but also, meh. I guess my rule is, whenever the chart says this is the second season of a thing, and I'd heard nothing about season one, I assume it wasn't worth watching. Yeah, I mean, that's the other problem, is that whenever there's a, mul a second season or third season, they don't give any info on this site. Uh, they just tell you second season of X and expect you to know what X was all about, and we don't. So. One thing I do notice, though, the monsters here, the dr it looks like they're kind of dragon-looking things, they have the initial D treatment in that they're drawn much better than I suspect the rest of the show is. Yeah, I mean, we're judging this based on a single image. We could watch the trailers, but then it would be a lot harder to make this video. Yeah. And we don't have time for that. So let's go on to the next show. Citrus. No. 
High school girl whose main interest is having fun. She, her mom remarried. She transferred to a strict. This all looks like Moe, Moe Girl Harem Show. I got literally no interest in this already. Yeah, except I don't see a dude to have the harem. They're not going to put the dude here. This is going to be where the I think, dude. I think it's a Yuri show because it's already talking about uh, other girls at the all girls school kissing the new transfer student. Yeah, but I still feel like. This reeks of it might just be male gaze, and the dude is right here watching the show, yeah. as opposed to being in the show. It's definitely a Yuri show. Uh, so. I just, the characters look super generic, and there's too many characters at once, mm -hmm. and they're all of a different type, so there's no reason to watch this. Yeah. All right, next show. Nanatsu no Taizai, colon, Imashime no Fukatsu, the second season of Nanatsu no Taizai. It looks like a generic... Fighting show? Fighting show, like a, you know... It's fantasy. There's a cute pig in the corner. Oh, yeah, I see that uh, guy there. Right? You know, so, it, you know, it's the same as all any other show. Look at the muscle guy with, like, the super thin waist way back there. Right, it looks like a shonen fighting adventure show. You know, some kind of fantasy setting, right? Yep, no reason to watch it. No, but it's out there. I, I guess it's, you know, big enough to get a second season of 24 episodes, not 13 like the other one. I wonder, I either, I think that blonde character is probably the main character, and the weirdly outlined girl is probably the heroine who gets saved or whatever. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Uh, it looks like the side, you know, in typical shown in fighting fashion, the side characters are cooler than the main characters. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Darling in the Franks with two X's. It looks like a robot show. Joint project between Trigger and well, A1. Well, Trigger is always a good sign, right? Yep. Trigger can do no wrong. Have they ever done anything wrong? No, I Trigger's I pretty so. much batting a thousand. Right, but it's a joint project between Trigger and A1, so I guess it could be half good, <laughs> right? Uh, but yeah, so it was. this was announced at Anime Expo, and now here it is. It's got some robot action. It looks like it also has some... It has some children piling robots Evangelion-style action. Yeah, um, I don't know. Children live there knowing nothing of the outside world or the freedom of the sky. Their lives consist of battling to carry out missions. This is going to be one of those shows where there's robots and action and kids, and there's like a sinister subplot that's left behind, and it starts like Monster of the Week, and bit by bit you start to uncover the reason why the kids are locked in this crazy world and it could either go Ava or it could go Trigger which is kind of like going Ava. Right. It seems like it's definitely going to be like that but it's less dark. You can tell by the image that this is a less dark show. There might be some amount of darkness but it's not the Ava level of darkness. No, it'd be right? more like the level of Kill la Kill darkness. It's going to be like a very light terrible secret of space not a very super serious terrible secret yeah. of space. It's not Bocarano. There's right. someone with that girl, though, from the outside with two horns growing out of her head. Well, I mean, you can see the one person wearing different clothes. Yep. There's something up with that, right? Stranger comes to town. Yeah, anyway. So maybe give this one a shot. Oh, God, yeah, they call the place they live the birdcage. Yeah, this is... I see where this yeah, is Yeah, this deserves a look, I think. All right, yeah. next show. Death March, Kara Ooh. Hajimaru Isekai Kyoso Kyoku. It's a light novel series. Too many characters, and they look too young. It follows a 29-year-old a programmer who's on a death march, but one day wakes up in another world after a nap. Wait, what kind of death march is this? I don't know. Maybe he's been pro. Maybe they mean by death march, he's just like programming all night. You yeah. Know, that kind of death. He's a death march at work. He's not like in the baton right? death march. It could be that he's, uh, you know. Uh, yeah. So begins his quote: heartwarming, occasionally serious, and harem. Adventure. It gave us the word harem in the description. All right. Well, I, I think this show's bad. I think that girl has a tail. I see, it looks like it's like two little puppy girls in the background. Oh, yeah. And everyone's way too young except the girl in the front, so... I think the story here is actually just this programmer who's sad and lonely hallucinates this in his tiredness or at literally dies and goes to this world. Yeah. So, I, you know what? If it was that, that would be pretty good. But I feel like this is just... This it's, is a, gonna, it's a fantasy for lonely programming. Fantasy self-insert, just like uh, Utaware Rumono. Yeah, anyway. All right, Fate slash Extra Last Encore. It's another Fate, so if you... Right, I guess if you like Fate things, but actually this is an adaptation of a Fate video game, so I guess if you have played... That's like two strikes already. If you've played this particular Fate video game, then I don't think you need to watch this. You know, and like if you're into Fate I, that Wait. much, I imagine you've played this game. But if you haven't, I guess you could avoid playing the game and just watch this and you get your whole Fate story. This has got that thing of there's a bunch of nouns with quotes around them in the description. A, his enigmatic servant that's looking what, for that's the what Fate's all holy about. grail. Right, that's what all the Fate things are like. Fate, stay right. night. Yeah, if you've seen Fate and you like it, then you got more. But I would say, if you, you need this. if you haven't seen Fate by now, you probably don't care. Yeah, I mean... I don't care. Even if Fate is good, is it really worth it for me to go back and, like, get into this? No. 
It's not Plus, gonna happen. I, I, it's one too thing, late for me. I'm, I know not, we, I'm not a fate person. I know we just judge anime by its cover, but I also judge anime by if a franchise gets mentioned in my social media or Anna Twitter. Seems like people are mostly making fun of fate as opposed to like legitimately saying I should watch it. Also, someone has a really big sword there, so... That can be good or bad. Yeah, whatever. All right. Ko Kokoku. Uh, that image already makes me intrigued. So someone lives with their neat father and brother, right? Retired, retired grand grandfather. Okay. So lives in a house, all right? Oh, shit. Her nephew and brother are kidnapped for a ransom. Kidnap some, why would you kidnap some neats in a poor family? Why, indeed. All right. Uh, she only has 30 minutes to prepare the money. She tries to rescue them on her own with a knife. This room, this sort of, like, you know, scenario... Wait, but then it becomes Langoliers! Look at this, it goes crazy in a hurry. Everyone and everything is inert. They're basically in the Langoliers world. All right, this, you know what this is? This is gonna be one of those... A bunch of characters are in a situation and they have to logic their way out of it. Yeah, this reminds me, though, of like an Eden of the East kind of thing. I feel, or, right? I feel like it's not going to actually be like, mm. or what's the one? I watched the whole show. The one where they the, there's a hidden village somewhere. Oh, yeah. That show I knew not, I decided not to based on you watching right, it. Right, which we, which we judged, right? And, yep. and I watched it. Um... Where it's like, it has this good premise of, ooh, a mystery. Ah, but it but was... The, but in the end, the reality doesn't give you any sort of payoff. But it was more in the realm of the nine doors, nine whatevers, nine things. Mm -hmm. the, and this, it's not like in the East, because in the East is still like set in a normal world with a set of rules. Mm -hmm. This is, the world is crazy. This is yeah. like, you're trapped in the zombie I school I think the one thing. thing about this that gives, gives me interested is that normally those shows have a cast of like random characters that happen to come together somehow. Yep. Whereas this is like... Like a family that is together. I think this is going to turn into grand, like the family and the kidnappers. So you've got two disparate groups together and they're just trying to get out and deal with this still world. Mm -hmm. I, I would give this a chance. This it, looks pretty good. I worry though, there's always that aspect whenever you have a still world of some sort of like time stop fantasies. <laughs> Right? I don't get it based on the art and just... I don't, no, I don't get No, based on the impression. art, there's like a huge blood splatter. This thing is totally murder mystery. Awesome. Yeah. All right, anyway. So if anything, I feel like this will feel more like Erased. Yeah, sure. Uh, anyway, uh, might be worth watching that. All you right. didn't watch Erased, did you? No. You should. Koi wa amiagari no yoni. This right. comedy? Soft -spoken, Monzai comedy? Soft-spoken high school student. Uh, oh, an injury, she can't run fast. All right, she used to run, she can't, so now she's working part-time at a family. <laughs> oh, she falls in love with a divorced 45-year-old with a son. Oh, I guess it's a fantasy show for 45-year-old dudes to go out with high school girls. Or, it, I mean, it's possible that this is just going to be some sort of, like, funny, romantic, slice-of-life comedy show. It's hard to say. I, get, I mean, it, it, it could go so many ways, but anything where a 45-year-old dude has a high school girl in love with him gives me huge, oh no, stay away, right? Yeah. But no matter how it's treated, that's a big warning sign, like, don't go anywhere near this. Yeah, this could either be sort of like a Monzai comedy slice of life thing, or it's going to be bunny drop all over again. Yeah, this doesn't seem safe. Stay, yeah, away, but... stay away from the Koi Wa Amiagaris. <laughs> I'm not going to watch this unless someone tells me... I don't right. know what the deal is with this. I've seen this all over my Twitter. We did like, we did judge this the previous season. I guess there's another season. This is called Pop Team Epic. And like I've seen these characters. There's the there's like the long girl and then the short one. They remind me of like Beaker and the other yeah. guy from the Muppets. Mike Tool just like tweets like pictures of them all the time. Everyone right. tweets pictures of it's these girls. It's some sort of comedy thing. Uh, I haven't seen it. It's based on a four panel comic as you would expect. Here's what I gotta say. It's, I keep seeing it. And anytime I keep seeing something, I gotta at least find out what the deal is. I'm gonna watch whatever this is. <laughs> sure, you watch whatever this I'll is. I'll watch an episode of this to find out why I everyone feel like I'm too far it. behind on it to catch up with it. I feel like it won't matter. Maybe. Whatever. This seems like a show where it won't matter. If you want some wacky, you know, light comedy, then... You How know. do you know it's comedy? It just says surreal. For if all we know... based on a four-panel comic, it's gonna be comedy. It might just be surreal. Anyway. All right, Beatless. Is this the darker than black? It looks like a cyber <laughs> generic action show. Who hate Hai? What's Hai? Is Hai? With oh, some proper nouns. The humanoid android Hai became part of people's lives. All right, it's another show about androids. Yep. A generic action show with androids, I guess. Wait, one night Arado suddenly gets assaulted by mysterious falling cherry blossoms that make Hai and machines run havoc i think they mean a muck yeah eh mm. nothing the show all right the fact that she's wearing the 
I have a hole in my pants just so you can see my panties. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna assume the show is bad. The only- it's like, she's wearing the- and this only way you can see through her clothes is this area, and yep. this- this area. Armpits, cleavage, panties. No yeah, good. Nope. No, anyway. Alright. Uh, Karakai Jozu no Tagaki-san. Uh, if you blush, you, it looks like a high school sort of sweet comedy that's slightly uh, comedic. middle school. Middle school, okay. Uh, it could still be, you know, a good, like, romantic comedy thing, sort of like, um, you know, my love story. Uh, he keeps trying to tease her, but he's actually in love with her. I think that's it. Okay. Hard to say. I guess it's on the board. It could be on the borderline, right? We don't have enough information to tell if this is... You know, eh, creepy or just sweet and normal nice. Yep. I'm pretty much, I'm hesitant to watch any show that has middle schoolers at this point. Yeah. It says comedy, romance, slice of life. So I hate to say this, I suspect this show is going to be mostly boring. It could be anywhere from My Love Story to Love Hina, right? And it, it may be in between somewhere. Nah, because Love Hina, there's only one girl. I think it's just between these two girls, these two yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah, it, I think it is too. But I, I would bet just... Gut feeling that this show is going to be boring and not funny enough to watch. Maybe. All right. Like, you'd have to be invested in middle schoolers getting together <laughs> to want to watch that show. All right. Grand Crest Sankey. It looks like a Gennaro fantasy fighty show. Yep. This is going to be like a Himiko Den or Fushigi Yugi or one of those. Or Scrap Princess. Yeah. Some of the, something like that. Scrap Princess is probably the best of those I've seen. Maybe. I mean, I skipped a class There's in There's a RIT continent with lords in there. I guess this is going to be like watching Fire Emblem, the show. But yeah. only it's not Fire Actually, Emblem. Actually, the girl in the left kind of looks like the Scrap Princess girl. Maybe. Uh, I don't see, though, like like a, a magical like character. It seems like they're all just lo lords of various yeah. equalness. There doesn't seem to be like some sort of main fantasy plot of magical world endingness is just sort of like a more of a Game of Thrones deal where they're all between each other. It feels other. like it'll be the quality level of Scrap Princess, but it's going to be more like, I don't know, Himiko Den, which I don't think anyone watching this right. has seen. There's a wandering knight. Yeah. You know, Bunch like... of characters, Fire Emblem the show. Yep. Yeah. All right. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, Cardcaptor Sakura, clear card head. So there's a, a new season of Cardcaptor Sakura. I don't know if this is a remake or if it's just somehow continuing after the end of the original i only watched like maybe the first 10 episodes of the original 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 yep. card because I, I clove towards sailor i didn't moon. watch anything after that so i watched all of sailor moon i didn't watch a lot uh, but yeah it involves it's called clear card because it involves some sort of transparent cards i guess yep. this is gonna be like, is, oh and a brand new key right is this involving like a new game at the store at the arcade you can play or a new card game you can play by buying cards in japan or something i'm just gonna assume this is not gonna be a sailor moon crystal situation because sailor moon crystal the only show we've ever completely misjudged in this series was really only bad because they rushed it to do it because of the anniversary and not for any other good reason. Right, so I don't, I think this might take, it doesn't seem like it, I mean, I assume Card Captor Soccer, I never watched it, I assume it had some sort of ending, right? I don't even know how, I don't even went. know, maybe if it didn't have an ending, then this is a continuation. If it did have an ending, this feels like it takes place before whatever it must have had an epic ending right There's well it no says way. it really adaptation and is related to a prequel i don't know if it is a prequel or if it has a prequel which is the regular card well, it definitely actors. happens after the very beginning but before you can start already... saying how do you know about anime if you haven't watched ccs son we've seen more I've, anime than all of you i've seen 10 episodes of it or whatever yeah. anyway but yeah this i don't know the details but if you like card captor soccer here you go there's more and if you don't, then you don't. Go watch Sailor Moon instead, or Fancy Lala. All right, Yuru Camps. Yuru Camp Rin Delta. likes to go camping by herself along the lakes uh, that provide a scenic view of Mount Fuji. Uh, someone loves to take cycling trips uh, in places where they can see Mount Fuji. They meet, and they take camping trips. a slice of life show, maybe? Where's so here's the question. Is that description the first episode or the entire show? I think it's the entire show. Is it these two people meet? One likes to go camping and one likes to bike near Mount Fuji. They meet and they start hanging out together and sort of have happy times camping and you know, biking. The character designs are cute. There's nothing scary there. They're fully clothed. In fact, it's chilly. So yeah, they're even all wearing warm clothes. That concept could work. Yeah, I think it's like an adaptation of a manga that's sort of, you know, cute and lighthearted. Oh, there's a cute dog there too. Yeah. Huh. I guess it's just about some anime characters camping in the mountains. That could be okay. All right. I mean, if you're just feeling like, ah, it's a nice relaxing show, maybe. I might watch this one night, like late at night when I'm laying there before I go to bed instead of a boring space thing. It could be. Yeah. 
All right, Sora Yori Motui Basho. The anime story centers high school girls going to the South Pole. <laughs> um, okay. So it seems like there's a team of high school girls. It could be slightly. This has this reeks of. It doesn't reek of pervy. It reeks of idol show, but they're not idols. Right. Well, Look, it looks like an idol show. It feels like the kind of idol like dynamic. Right, but they're not idling. They're, it's madhouse, but that doesn't tell us much in these no, days. No, but they're going to the South Pole in some sort of adventure. Why? Is it just them? Is it just humans like? learning to human together in the South Pole? I don't know. It says the only genre is adventure. Maybe it is good. It just happens to have the only anime, chance, cute anime girls as the characters. The only chance this show has for me, because I don't think... I, I, I feel like the show we just talked about, I'm way more invested in seeing an episode of than this, because mm -hmm. nothing grabs me about this. If they get to the South Pole and it's some Ava bullshit and it's a big bait and switch, that's the only reason I can watch this show. It's only 13 episodes, so maybe you can just watch the whole thing really easily. I gotta know, does something happen when they get to the South Pole? All right, uh, Hakata Tonkatsu Ramens. Is this Ooh. a story about people who make ramen? Professional revenge seekers, professional killers, detectives, those skilled in torture. What, where's the ramen part? Something about a crime is rampant in the city. The, uh, the urban legend, the killer of professional killers. So it's Go Go 14 shows up and kills some people, I guess. Uh, I don't know what's up with this show. It's this been... has all the trimmings of a Durara type show. Oh. Bunch of characters, urban legends, violence and nonsense. That's in the what it, that is what it feels like. It just feels like less, like somehow less than that, right? It's almost like a pale, it feels like a pale yeah. imitation of a Durara Right, as opposed to being firmly in the camp at the same level. Because Durara, just from the the equivalent of this back when that show right. came out, I, I was like that show. I feel like you take this is a show that's on a the Durara genre, but one la layer less in quality. Yeah, like it if could. Durara is a B. This is a C, but the same type. Partly because the way this image is drawn, I don't think the show is actually animated like that. I would bet the show is done kind of cheaply. Maybe that's just my feel. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a high budget power, but the the name is interesting. Like. Tonkatsu Ramens. Like, what's up with that? Yeah, none of the characters are named Ramen. And it doesn't, so it's Ramen not that. isn't part of the plot, so it must be a metaphor for something. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Here we go. A, oh. a plus. Here we go. Junji Ito Collection. So if you don't know, Junji Ito makes like one of the, is like one of the most famous and best horror manga you know, creators ever. You ever see a manga that just looks really, really disturbing and people are like twisting and weird nonsense? Or there's like robotic fish that are like spewing smelly, horrible things everywhere, right? It's like, that's Junji Ito. So they're adapting a whole bunch of Junji Ito manga. Stories from the 11 volume Junji Ito collection. If you're into legit right? body horror, Oh, yeah. Not not like weird sex. So I'm talking is, like weird, right. scary so body horror. there's going to be 12 horror. Junji Ito mangas. 100% watching this. Adapted into anime so you don't have to read them. And I think the goal over quite, uh, like, maybe even better as uh, anime, some of them, because you get to see the animated horror yeah. uh, But it's a different kind of horror. Don't it's, it's not like a Yamashibai. No. Yamashibai is creepy. Yeah. An occasional jump scare. This is going to be, oh God, what's happening to that poor guy? Oh God. Right. That's what Jinji Ito stuff is like. It's just straightforward. It doesn't like surprise you. Here's or... the story of a demon that melts people. Right. It's like, you just see horrific shit going down and it just gets more and more horrific as time goes on. This is my jam. And it's just straightforward horror. It's like, look at this. Blarg. Anyway. And if there's a twist, it's just, oh, you thought this was horrible? Well, wait a second. Oh. All right. Uh, Mitsubashi Colors. Little kids solving crimes. And it's like Powerpuff Girls, only a little bit more anime and a little bit older and less cartoony. Wait, their, their arch nemesis is a violent police officer that they keep running into. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So it's three cute anime girls, a little bit, you know, with the kawaii kind of action, right? A little moe. Yeah, they've got the, because they have the moe face, I don't trust it. Yeah, it's like, we're going to That girl in the middle things. has the like, uh face that's just that's a i mean that's a baby's face yeah on like a eight-year-old's body but gonna go solve crimes yeah yeah i'm not feeling this one uh moe crime solving we don't need that all right killing bites it's a little bit furry Wait, uh, is it furry but it's sort of like but it's not the this ain't furry this is furry adjacent that's just like neko mimi like right, that's what i'm here. saying is it's not it's not like it is animal people. But look at the but sexy guy in the back. Like, there's a sort of fierce animal people 
right? Not the, you know, cute or perverted animal yeah. people. But it's also, they, they don't it's look... It's more like Thundercats. Only they're, not, they're not furry animal people, a little nor... Bit, a little bit more sexualized than Thundercats. And, yeah. more, and more anime style. They're not furry, but they're not uh, realistic either. They're like... People sort of wearing animal costume look. Right, like but, the if you, but if you read the description, college student, they drive around trying to pick up oh, girls. Oh, he's, he's literally a honey badger. So some college students drive around trying to pick up girls, and they accidentally pick up an animal-human hybrid girl. Who who's... is a honey badger who murders them all. Right. So... Hmm. Did they make this because of that honey badger YouTube video? I don't even know. There's but... no way. That's the only explanation for this. Yeah, but the, honey, the honey badger girl seems to be the main character. She this... Was... Is the most prominently featured in this poster. I feel like this show is going to be a little sexy, but it's going to be more like more vi violent, more violent, and funny. Right. But so it'll be violent. The thing funny. is, if you look at the thing that's adapted from, oh, that's some boobs. Right, the thing it's adapted from. You, the cover image of that manga is very booby. So the manga looks. Well, so be careful though, because Gunsmith Cats, the anime is great, but the manga way more right. booby and right. way anyway, less good. The, the genres are listed as action, horror, etchy, and sci-fi. So. Mm, I can watch one episode. I want to see what the deal is with the sexy uh, tiger-looking guy right yeah, there. Yeah, who knows what's up with him. All right. Toji no Miko. It's some girls with swords, samurai swords, and they're going to fight someone. Special religious service police. What? At their shrine maidens who are going to go do some fighting. All right. It's just like one of the most generic anime I've ever seen. This, look, it's not a darker than black. It's just generic fighting show. Like a low rent like soccer type yeah, right. like without a, I was robots. Gonna say, I was going to mention soccer awards, <laughs> right? Because when you, you see, <laughs> it feels like soccer awards to me. Yep, but without robots. Yeah. Which, why even bother? Anyway, the government has set up five schools throughout the country for girls to attend. I think that's why we're thinking soccer. sword fighting. Because Soccer Wars is also like, yeah, the government set this up. Let's go. Anyway, I haven't seen Soccer Wars much, but I know enough well, to know I learned, this is very adjacent to I saw it. more of it recently because I had to talk about it in that anime openers panel. Okay, great. Uh... Hakume to Mikochi. This looks kind of cute. Tiny girls live in the forest. This could be Moe, though. Oh, crap. Yeah, it. tiny girls live tiny lives making umbrellas out of leaves. This is going to be Binchotan. Yeah, I was going to say Binchotan. It's sort of like, <laughs> it's that Moe genre where it's like cute little fantasy girl. Long shot of the girl, la, like, la, walking, la, 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 carrying la, la, la. a leaf, and then she we trips. We live in the woods, la, 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 la. Like, take David the Gnome and, like, really don't tile it down. Yeah, make David the Gnome for, you know, weird otakus. I don't think there's any reason to watch it's this. It's like, you could make one of these that would be good, like David the Gnome, but instead it's bent ever so slightly towards... Ever so slightly, it's bent all the way down. <laughs> it's bent. <laughs> all right. Ryo no Oshigoto. I, I don't trust this. So it looks like some shogi action, right? Um, yep, it's all so about that. it could be like Hikaru no Go. I do not trust the pose of it, that character. It looks a little bit less serious and a little bit more Pervy? generic anime than Hikaru yeah. no Go is, right? Hikaru no Go is like actually lent more towards the Go part. Yep. And while this has shogi, it feels like it's leaning more towards the less serious you know, less about the shogi part. Not watching this one. Yeah, and plus, there's the other shogi show, The March Comes In Like a Lion. That seems, oh, yeah. That seems like a better... I already watched a couple episodes of that. That seems... If you want to watch a shogi show, watch that one and not this one. I gotta watch that. Anyway, Gakuen Babysitters? Uh... Huh. It's based right. on a shoujo manga. Uh, it's a comedy slice of It's life. Rugrats the anime. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's about some boys who have to babysit some babies, and it could be, like, cute and fun. It could be three men and a baby. It I, could be Rugrats. I think it's, like, high school boys, probably, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're high school boys who have to babysit these cute kids, and it seems like it'll be silly and la-la-la and have it be, like, a fun time. I'm gonna assume that the bunny drop situation does not happen here. No, no. This, <laughs> this actually seems like these high school boys who are, like, one of them is serious, one of them is Gennaro anime boy... And one of them is, like, sexy, capable anime boy. See, the trouble is, I feel like a show like this, this concept, could be cute, and, like, babies look cute, but because of the generic anime boy, I'm gonna assume that the humor is gonna be really watered down I and think not it's that just funny. to, uh, it's a shoujo, it's to appeal to, you know, girls who want to see cute anime boys taking care of cute babies. I just think it's not gonna be that good. It could be fun, but I don't know how good it I don't it'll think be. it'll be fun enough. Yeah, all right. Ramen, ramen again. Ramen Daisuke Koizumi-san. Oh, Koizumi-san, sorry. 
The gourmet comedy falls day life of Koizumi, a high school girl who looks like the cool beauty at first glance, actually has an unexpected side of her that loves ramen. Oh, God. She uh, likes ramen. I like ramen. Yeah. Uh, it was a slice of life, but also some ramen aspects. Slice of boring, I'm expecting. Yeah, I don't know. It's just high school plus ramen. How, how are there so many shows like this? Like, how, how ramen is this show? I'm based, based on that image, 0% of ramen. I don't know. Like, how, how does the ramen... Oh, no, that image shows me some ramen. Yeah, how does the ramen... Is it mostly... I don't understand. It doesn't seem... There's not enough material here to know what's going on, but it makes me feel like the show doesn't have a lot going on. thing is, on. whenever there's a show like that, like Silver Spoon, we knew from the image it was going to go way into the farming. I don't trust this will go enough into the ramen. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Marchin Madchen. There's those two dot things above the A's. I don't know how to pronounce that. Brother, may I have some anime? <laughs> uh, it looks harem-y because there's a whole bunch of girls. Yep. But it says in the fantasy genre, uh, this, they attend school, are selected by... Every girl has a moe face, except one. Yeah, they're selected by old fairy tales and folk stories to wield magic. Oh, God. One's the giant turnip, one's from Arthurian lead. They're all from a different... Fantasy story. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm going to assume this is a moe crap. Look and at those the faces. the main character is chosen by Cinderella. So it's like a, a variety of girls, all chosen to be different fairy tales. And yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're, we're good. All right. I think we're, we're good. <laughs> Slow start. The story centers around a 17-year-old who, unbeknownst, unbeknownst to her classmate, was a year late in enrolling. Uh, uh, oh, I think the show's going to be creepy. Based what? on that alone. Really? I get I, I worry whenever an anime does it says anything. It's a comedy slice of life. It's, I don't trust it. It seems like this show just doesn't have enough material. It seems like a lot of the shows we're seeing are really thin. Like just this really thin plot. It's but like, one thing I've noticed, you can't just say, oh, we just like the Anna chart itself is too thin. I'm confident every one of these shows is as thin as the chart. Oh no, yeah, the the show definitely like it's basically a girl goes to school, she goes to school a year later than everyone else, she's a year older. And she's got, you know, problems with that. And then it's a slice of life in the school yeah. with some characters. But they're, they're, the problem is if you do the slice of life thing, you need to be like Azamanga Daya, where you have the crazy cartoonism and wackiness. Yep. And, you know, these strongly uh, stereotyped yeah. characters. Like Nichi Joe. Right. But this, it seems like they're generic anime characters. They're not, you know... You know, distinct enough to make the show. Oh, look at what watching. it's adapted from. Yeah, I don't, I'm not feeling this. Anyway, uh, but yeah, it's called Slow Start because you're a year behind in school. All right, the Psyche. That looks like Gintama. Psyche Kusuo no Nan Two. It's got a weird. Is that a phi? What is that symbol? Uh, this, it's a Greek letter. This looks, looks like, like it looks like a trident. Is it a phi or a? So it's know. the second season of something. This looks like a cross between just my gut feeling Yu Yu Hakusho. Cromarty. Well, you're only saying Yu Hakusho. And Gintama. You say Yu Yu Hakusho because they're wearing the same the, uniform. The green uniforms from Yu yep. Hakusho. Oh, you and say, the guy in the back left kind of reminds me. You say me. Gintama because it, that's kind of the blue guy. Style, right? And the blue guy. And you say Cromarty because it looks like a bunch of delinquents. Yep. So if you combine all those three, what do you get? I'm assuming this. Yeah. Um, so I guess some delinquent high school kids that are more more generic. None of these shows are, like, distinct. They all look like the generic, stereotypical anime style that, you know, none of these shows have a distinct art style so far. Yeah. They're all, like, right down the middle, and like, anime factory getting cranked out of the, the mill here, which is not very inspiring. Actually, the one that, as I think back, that we, that we saw the most, the one that stands out the most is still the one where the girls all meet on the mountain camping. Yeah, that's, uh, well, also Junji Ito collection. Well, yeah, but that, that doesn't count. That's true. Right. Sanrio Danchi. Does this have anything to do with Hello Kitty? It does. There's Hello Kitty. Yep. There's uh, the chalk... Wait, do a bunch of hot guys come to the Hello Kitty world? Or are those hot guy representations A high of? school boy. He loves the yellow Pom Pom Purin dog, which I guess is a Sanrio character. He ends up attaining the same school as someone who likes Bunny My Melody, which I guess is another... Basically... Where's Bob Samaro? Basically, it seems like a bunch of boys who all love Sanrio characters end up going to the same school and make a Sanrio fan club. And this is for people who really love Sanrio. If you love Hello Kitty and Friends, watch this show. Otherwise, what is the point of this? Yeah. So, I guess uh, it's for someone. I, I, get, I like, though, that it's Hello Kitty is not the character. It's char people who love Sanrio yeah, shit. Yeah, I was worried for a second it would be they all get transported, too. It would be like, it's like watching a show about, instead of watching a show about baseball, it's watching a show about 
people who go to baseball games. Yep. Right? Which could be interesting, but I guess if you don't care about Sanrio, this means nothing to you. All right. Uh, Mira no Kaikata. When high school student... It's all high school students. Yeah. Uh, gets an oversized package mailed to him, his self-proclaimed adventurer father. I've, where have I seen that trope before? Uh, called Wait, Cthulhu. he finds a mummy in it. So small that it fits in the palm of his hand. I think it's a monster fighting show because all these characters are holding monsters. Yep. And his just happens to be a mummy his dad sent him. So it's sort of like, yeah. Mummy's real cute. His dad sent him a Pokemon in the mail. And now he's going on an adventure with all these other ki anime kids. All I'm going to say, guys, don't be fooled. I've been fooled by shows. This is just going to be a monstery fighting yeah, show. Yeah, it's going to be a show like that, only worse than Digimon and Pokemon. Right? And it's a mummy, so it's a little bit supernatural creepiness thrown in. Yeah, the mummy's too cute. Anyway. Gin no Guardian 2, the second season of Gin no Guardian. It looks like a, a slightly dark, supernatural, anime, super-powered fighting show, but one of the characters has mega big boobs, uh, so oh. you don't need to watch it. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Uh, action, comedy, fantasy, supernatural, the most generic anime you've ever seen. It's anime. If you want to, like, show someone, like, this is anime. It feels like Eren's Baju, the opening to that fighting game that wasn't actually an anime. Worse than that. <laughs> All right. Um, oh. oh, Zoku Token Ranbu Hanamaru. The second season of Token Ranbu Hanamaru. I feel like I should have watched this, and I didn't. I don't know. All I got to go based on is this image, which shows some more traditional Japanese imagery with some more adult characters drawn in a more serious style. That's enough for me to give it a chance. It's only 12 episodes. Fantasy slice of life almost feels like, um, what's the one? The oh, Tom Show? No, Tom Hove. Oh, Fushigi Yugi? No. No? It, no. You don't think so? Fushigi Yugi is in the derp comedy genre, really. Mm. It's Fushigi is closer to that generic uh, show we saw before with all the lords. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's true, that's true. Anyway. This, I don't know, I feel like, I don't, Eccentric Family was so good, this I is, can't imagine this would be even close to that. This is nowhere near goodness of Eccentric Family, not even close. I could watch Eccentric Family again. Oh, yeah. Finish that third book so we can get all more right. Gintama. All right, so even more Gintama, if you haven't had enough. Wait, no, no, this is actually notable. The final arc. No way. Of Gintama. No, they're lying. There's uh, no way this could be the final of Gintama. Look, even the monkey down there is like, no way. No way. That's the staff member, the original creator of Gintama. No way. I guess if this really is the end of Gintama... I should I, watch I, it. I can't believe. So, if you haven't watched Gintama, it's not for everyone, but much like Ranma was, don't try to watch shows like this, like episode by episode. There's too many episodes. You'll spend your whole life watching Just all pick of a Gintama. random episode and watch it. And, and most of them are episodic. Treat it like a sitcom, and you'll right. you'll probably enjoy it a lot more. I feel like if you just watch it, you gotta figure out which episodes of Gintama to watch so that you can like get the whole picture of like, yeah. where the state of all the characters are, and then you could probably just watch this final season you, to what wrap I used, it up. What I used to do with like Ranma, same thing, is I'd always I'd watch episodes from the first like one season one. But kind of randomly, and when I kind of watch the majority of them, I just start on season two. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, basilisk colon Oka Nin Pacho. Wasn't there a Basilisk nin before that was a different show? Nin Pacho. Uh, sorry, I can't pronounce it properly. It's a ninja action show that's slightly dark. Yep. Actually, I feel like there were previous Basilisk shows, and this is a new season of Basilisk. I'm pretty sure this. I've heard I see, that's what I was saying. Right. It feels like Berserk, but not as cool as Berserk. Yeah. Right? Like, if you need some Berserk and you want some watered-down Berserk... This it, just makes me want to watch Berserk. Right. Anyway. I don't know if I have anything else to say about this. I feel like, also, you don't want to watch this if you haven't seen previous Basilisk. Right? Yeah. Yo, a paddle! Oh, yes! So, uh... Everybody gets one. Yo, a paddle is not that good. <laughs> it's, a, it's a generic sports anime, but it happens to be a bicycling, so I watch it. Uh, and there is the, there's basically been, like, every other anime season, there's been another season of Yoa Pedal, and this, basically, last season ended in the, every, basically, every season is another year of high school, which culminates in the big race, which is the inter-high, where all the high schools yep. battle to see best high school. So wait, are they, are they all seniors now? No, there, this is the second year. So oh, the God. first two seasons cover the first two year, the first year of high school. The third season is the fir is up until the middle of the big So race. there could be four more seasons after there this. There could probably be two or three more seasons, right? But this season, hopefully, will just cover the rest of the inter-high 
of the second year of high school. See, I always thought that Initial D dragged out the races. But then I saw this Really, show. it's basically one race per year, and they don't show a lot of the all small races. They're, like, very quick, the yep. small races. But then there's the big inter-high race, which is, like, the championship. Seems and like they, they just show it in real time. It takes one and a half seasons to cover the inter-high, and there's three of them, because you spend three years in high school in Japan. And I don't know if they'll carry on your pedal after the main characters graduate and get... Because they're introducing new characters well, every season. When the, the only two ways... new freshmen that come to school. There's only two ways to go. We learned this from American TV. You either have the new class or the college years. Yep. So I think they're gonna... I think they'll... Yeah. But basically, this is second year of high school for the main characters. Finishing the big race. Uh, At this point, if you're I not... I wonder if they're gonna win. Like, it's possible that they won't make the main characters win for the second year in a row. Spoilers, they won the first big race. If you're not already watching this show, you don't care. Right, I am into this because it's... I've been watching it. But yeah, it's a generic sports anime about bicycling. You're probably better off watching a different sports anime like Haikyuu, which about volleyball, or one of the other ones, or wait for a new one to start. Watch the one that's about Unless the sport you, you really like. Unless you really like bicycling... You don't need this one. But if you do like bicycling, here's the sports anime for you. All right. Haku Hoshin Engi. I like that monster looking guy in the bottom left. Uh huh. It's a new anime adaptation of the Hoshin Engi manga with a different voice cast. So it feels like this manga was previously adapted and is now being adapted again. I don't know why. It seems like a generic fantasy action anime. Yeah. Uh, kind of feels like it's in the genre of either s the serious, quote, parts of Slayers or like Escaflone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It could be, yeah, a little bit like Slayers, but not as good. Yeah. Right? Because it has, like, Slayers, I do see like a cute monster character. I feel like this will be focused more on the serious parts and it'll be less of the Slayers tropes of now it's It'll really funny. It'll definitely be less comedy involved, but it's still sort of like that light fantasy, like an El Hazard, maybe. El Hazard, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like El Hazard with a little bit of Escaflone, like a little bit of the serious, but, but not the... Cute, there's a cute character who's taking up most of this image. Yep. I like that cute character. Whatever, is that a, dra a fat dragon or a cow? I All can't right. tell. Idolish 7. It's idol show. It's an idol show with some boys. I guess it's a seven-member boy group. Is it based on a real idol group? Who even or cares? Is it, yeah... It's an idol show of, bo of a boy idol group. It's 17 episodes. What a weird number. Um, but yeah, okay. Oh, a group of aspiring idols gather and are entrusted with the company's future. So I guess actually that's a good plot. Usually, oh yeah, that's you know I could I could go for that, but I don't need to watch this. Nope. All right, Hitori no Shita, the Outcast, second season. I don't know what happened in the first season, but this looks. Did we talk not about? Did nope. we judge this show? At some I don't point? know. I feel like a lot of these shows that we're, we're talking about now that have second seasons. I don't think the first seasons were last season. I think the yeah. first seasons were two or three seasons ago. In the gap when there we were judging, a, there was a Gintama last season. Yep. But this show definitely did not have its first season last season. Uh, at least not as far as I remember. Um, Based on the images, it doesn't look bad. Yeah, it looks like the art shows me a little bit more serious, less generic characters. But I don't know how good the show is. We got shirt guy, knife girl, old looking guy. Pink hair girl. Yeah. Poor guy, I can't tell. I think knife girl has the edge on pink haired girl. Yeah, I don't know. It's some sort of mix between like modern supernatural, but also, you know, old ancient Japanese time this with beat, swords. I'm not really interested, but it definitely beats out every generic show we've talked about so far. Yeah, it does, based on artwork at least. Yeah. All right. Dame X Prince Anime Caravan, an adaptation of a smartphone game which will have an original story. Yeah, it's it, this looks like the most thrown together just anime mill. There is no way this is good. The most cookie cutter anime I ever did see is this. The end. Ling Ki Bond of the Underworld, the second season of Ling Ki. Uh, also cookie cutter anime. Yep. Three characters, though. Not a whole cast. It's an action comedy supernatural. Hmm. Uh, eh. I got nothing to go on, so I got nothing to say other than, you don't. unless suddenly the whole internet explodes about this. And they didn't explode about season one, so... The only thing worse than a bad show that people are making fun of on Twitter is the show that literally no one has mentioned. On I think Twitter. a lot of these things are the second seasons, right? Is that they're actually... If you look, this... Uh, these second seasons don't have a lot of episodes usually. Yeah. Which means it was like a 26 episode show which just had 13 in one and 13 in the other. Mm -hmm. And it was all made. And 
they, they didn't make a second season because the first one was popular. And, it, it, you know, we know it's a second season, and given no other information, the fact that the first season wasn't a tremendous hit that everyone's going crazy about means we can ignore season two, yep. no matter what it is, right? Even if it looks incredible. And the fact that this looks meh, we can ignore. So many second seasons in the winter. I think we're going to see that pattern. Uh, we're going to see winter and yep. summer being second I seasons. I recall that in the past when we were doing this. And we're going to see spring this. and fall being uh, more exciting. But we're still going to do this uh, show every, every Kid season. robot fighting show with trains. Yeah, there's a kid show that happens to have robots. I think it also involves a car it's, game. It's Shinkansen Transformers. That's it. That's yeah. the show. It's, it's going to basically be just like every other card. You know, so, Yu-Gi-Oh! but with trains involved on the cards somehow. But also robots. Uh, I guess because, I guess, do we... Because? It's about Bachigami, the bee god Yeah, great. Uh, if you like, what's the, what's the one that's not, uh... Um... Oh god, he's in the bullet train, and then the bee god attacks, and the bullet train transforms into a transformer, and then he fights the bee god in the bullet train. Okay, yeah. Kid uh, show. No kid, reason to watch it's this. It's a kid show to sell you a card game. All right, who got to a precure? It's the fifteenth precure series. Holy, By this point, holy shit! You either fifteen series of precure. You either really, really love precure, or you have no idea what this is. If you're a kid in Japan, right, some girl in elementary school or a guy in elementary school who likes precure, more precure. Otherwise, you don't need more precure. All right. Pikachu and Kit, another kids show. The kids shows always seem to be at the bottom. Yeah. Right? It's for elementary school kids. It's a cute show with some characters for them to buy merch of. Great. We don't need to watch these. Nope. All right, and that we're done. All right. That's it. Woof. So what, sh what stood out? There's the show the Junji with... Ito collection. Junji Ito. And more Yoa Pedal. Yep. The, this thing, I'm going to watch just to see what the hell the deal is. Yeah, the comedy talking. thing we keep seeing come up, you know, yep. those four comas, you know, you know, you get the Azamanga Dio sort of history going there, the Nichijos, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's another one of those, you know, there was, I guess, Gooda Gooda Fairies kind of style show, you can always use one of those if you're yep. in, a, in a comedy mood once in a while. There's like two shows I'm going to give one episode to, and otherwise, Yeah, mostly I'm in it for the Junji Ito collection, and I'm, since I've watched every episode of Yo Pedal, I might as well keep going, but otherwise, a mostly forgettable season looking up this winter. Um, Which is fine, because actually a lot of the shows I wanted to watch from the previous season I haven't watched yet. So. Yeah, sure. So I'm looking forward to the summer, though. That seems like it's going to be a more full season with new shows and not second seasons of shows. Yep. Uh, so stay tuned. In a few months, we will definitely be doing uh, Judge Anime by its cover, summer 2018. Oh, spring 2018. Mm -hmm. Spring is where and the good stuff is. if you enjoyed be. this at all, uh, you realize there's a bunch of videos of us doing this on the internet. Right. So remember... Uh, comment and tell us if we were right or wrong about the last season or this season on these YouTube videos and stay tuned we're gonna go for spring we're gonna keep this up even if no one watches or cares all right enjoy your winter 2018 anime season we are done